Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Live Foot TV. So I'm here with Bez and his Mark III Golf. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Live Foot TV. So I'm here with Bez and his Mark III Golf. Do you want to explain a little bit about what's been done to it? Right, so when I bought the car, most of it was already done. But obviously, you buy it off somebody, you find loads of stuff wrong with it. Yeah. <laughs> the, guy, the guy didn't have a clue. Like, he took it in a part X. He just wanted rid of it, so. So he had like loads of parts on it that he really didn't know what was on it. So it's got like the Botex rear diffuser on it. Yeah, for work. a fair amount of money. Um, he just thought it was a completely standard part as well. Uh, the back box, he did have a Magnex system on it, um, but I took that off because it was just, it was crap, basically. <laughs> it didn't sound any different to a standard system. Yeah. So then, got a Turbo Revs back box on it, because I've always liked the upswept DTMs on. They just, they just go with the, they go with the car really, really well. Yeah. yeah, and then the boot, the boot that was originally on it was all, it was all rusted around here, like massively rusted up here and everything. And I found a guy down south that was just giving this one away. Oh, okay. And he smoothed it. Oh, nice. So he got rid of the badge, <laughs> got rid of the wiper. Yeah. So I just needed to get it picked up. So luckily I had a mate who was working down south picked it up for me. Was it the same colour as well? Yeah, exactly the same colour. Oh, awesome. <laughs> so I was like, it's stupid not to get it. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd have driven down and got it, but I had a friend down there. So it just finishes it off. Yeah. And the, the lights, the lights just, are yeah, they're yeah. VR, the VR six ones, late VR six. Ones. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all I've done is just I bought tinted film, and I've just gone over them. Oh right, so okay. they're slightly smoked. They, they were like they were too crystal clear. They yeah. just looked a bit. They just looked a bit sort of Lexus lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. I absolutely hated them. I loved the lights, but I hated that. Yeah. So it was like three quid on eBay for for some tin film. Cool. And then uh, yeah, we'll go around the side. So there were. Uh, the wheels are Dare. Dare F5, yeah. 
And what uh, what suspension is it on? Do you know? It's Stance Plus. Stance Plus. Yeah, yeah. Stance Plus all round. Yeah. Really. Cool. It, it's it's good. It's not as harsh as like JOMs and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But it's affordable as well. Yeah. It's really, really easy to adjust as well. It's not it's not hard in the slightest. Yeah. It still is like harsh when you go over a bump. Yeah. You've got it pretty low though, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, considering it's on 17. Yeah. It's, it's fairly it's fairly decked, to be totally honest. Yeah, um, the wheels. Um, I, I went to see the car, and the guy was just like, "Yeah, yeah, the BBSs." Yeah. And the, all it was was they had a BBS centre cap stuck on. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> so I took the I took the plate off, centre cap off, and I was like, "Mate, the multi fitment." I said, "They're just the, the copies." And I yeah. said, "I think I know what they are." But I said, "Yeah, no." They, and so I got him down on price on that as well. So he was just, yeah, he, he didn't really know much about the car. Yeah. So obviously I got them, and they're in really good nick. To be totally honest, but I just got. I just got bored of them just being plain silver, so. Yeah, so you spread them with a gold. gold. Yeah. But it's like a gold, bronze, copper colour. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's a mix between like three different ones. Yeah, and then you made the you made the roof rack yourself, didn't you? So it's yeah. still roof bars. Yeah, um, which were 25 quid off Gumtree. Oh, nice. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, they were on my Mark III, some older guy who just he didn't want them. Yeah. So, right, I'll have them for 25 quid. And uh, yeah, this was some old pine that I had. My dad's got a workshop, playing the thickness and all that kind of stuff, so we just put it all through it. Yeah. Just finishes it off. Cool. And then the uh, the air plate is off. Wish, did you say? Yeah, or Ali Ali Express, Aliexpress, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, two late ones were just stupid money. Yeah. One from, whereas that was 35 quid delivered. Yeah. Like, did it come with all these clamps and stuff as yeah, well? Yeah, then? it came with yeah. clamps. Um, I had to That's get longer cool. longer bolts because the ones they, they supplied me with weren't, yeah. weren't thick enough. I mean, they, they probably would have been, but because of the wood that I've got in front, yeah, it's yeah, it's just made it a bit bit wider. That's pretty cool. I didn't realise it came with all the fittings and everything yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, with everything. Yeah. And you can get, I think it was three different sizes: it was thirty-two inch, which that one is. Yeah. Thirty-eight, and then a forty-two inch. Cool. So they're all universal ones. They're really, he's really good actually for what it is. Yeah. But I, I just thought, if I'm doing a wooden roof rack, I might as well keep it with the times. Yeah, yeah. And just keep it proper nineties. So. Nobody, nobody ever sees them. Yeah. Like the amount of luck to get with the roof rack <laughs> yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Forearm people sort of just looked at the cars that went past, but now they yeah. just stare at it as you drive past them. But I mean, luckily it's got a sunroof as well, but <laughs> it's sealing it shut now because <laughs> it never opened. And the first time I opened it, and then kept having it open. And one morning I came to drive to work, and there's a swim pool in front of the car. <laughs> yeah. So I checked all like the gutters and everything like that. They were all clear, and then sat in the back. That's why there's no roof line in it either. In the back and look through and you can see daylight, didn't matter what position yeah, it was in. Yeah. So I was just like, right, I'm just gonna I don't use it anyway. So I just load a seal it and it, it doesn't leak now. Yeah. Because <laughs> I think the seals for him were 140 quid. So I'm not paying 140 pounds for a seal. Yeah, I think I, I remember the one in my Mark II used to leak like fuck as well. And but I am not sure if it was even original sunroof. I think somebody had put it in. <laughs> <laughs> and they're a nightmare to fit as well from what I've heard, so I was like, yeah. no. Just gonna use some sealant and then get rid of it. So, and then the, probably the biggest like differentiator from all the others is its uh, vento front end on it, isn't vento it? So, front end, yeah. Which is what I had on my last Golf. Yeah. Mark III, if you don't remember that blue one I had, uh, I had a blue one ATS cups and that had a mark that had a vento front end. On Did it? Well. I didn't. I don't remember that having a vento front yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't have it long before I, before I got rid of it. Yeah. But. Yeah, the vento front. Uh, it, I don't know whether it's been the bonnet's been resprayed, but it's the same colour. Yeah. As the car, which I'm presuming it has. I don't. Yeah. The, guy, if the last guy's managed to find a vento bonnet in the same colour. Yeah. Really nice. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. They're really not easy to come by anymore. And because it, it's easier than doing the the bolf conversion, yeah. isn't it? it so is, you yeah. use the. So you said you said you use the bonnet, the grill. The, the, lights. the lights. That's it. Is the bumper the same? The bumper's the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's just bonnet, grill and lights, whereas the bore front end onto a Golf. It's, it's the literally the front, the whole front, whole yeah, front yeah. But pe people are just wanting silly money for these now. Like, yeah. Because it's a phase two grill as well. Those phase two grills go for 150, 160 quid second hand. Yeah. I, mean, I really want a phase one. Cause it's, got, yeah. it's got four, four slats yeah. all the way down, but they're like 250 quid second hand. <laughs> yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. But yeah, they're getting like you can't even. If I wanted another bonnet, I couldn't get another bonnet without having to buy the rest of it. 
Yeah. Because people just know. People just know they want the sets. Yeah. And then the lip is uh, Riga the or Riga or one, yeah. yeah. Which I've, I've not seen another one. Yeah. I've seen them on other Mark threes, but I've not seen them for sale. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't seen Riga, Riga or Riga or yeah. whatever the hell it's called <laughs> on anything for years. Like no. I remember, it used to be like a really massive company, like back in the yeah, day, yeah. didn't it? But, yeah, yeah. Um, Riga and Voltex, they were the yeah, they were the ones. But yeah, it's, it's an original one as well. It's like I'm saying, it's got a sticker on the the yeah. inside of it. Yeah. So I did toy with the idea of getting getting rid of it and putting a VR6 one on, but yeah. they're just a lot deeper than that as well. Yeah. And uh, are you vet, what do your events do? Is that one going to your intake? That yeah, so yeah. I've got a, I've got an, I've got a pipe in there, yeah. which is just the old air intake after I replaced it. Yeah, and it just runs up to the, runs up to the film filter. Yeah. So, cool. but they're mainly just for styling, basically. Yeah. Same with the, the, there's some on the bottom as well. Yeah. I've got them on bottom of the top. Yeah. They don't do anything, but it's just. It look yeah, it, it does add to the look of it, doesn't it? it, does, it makes, yeah. yeah. Makes it look so much better. Yeah. And the uh, press plates as well. Have to get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been pulled twice now for them. Uh, you know, they're stopping people recently with the illegal yeah, spit. Yeah, I, that's why I took my headlight tint off the other day. <laughs> it, was, it, it was like the second day of my new job, and I was meant to be in at six, and I got pulled over at Ings. So, you know, yeah. he seen me come out of Windermere, and he was just like, and he pulled me over, and he was like, I'm just pulling you for your plates. I was like, all right, why? He said, oh, they're illegal. I said, no, they're not. And he was like, yeah, they're legally spaced. I said, they're not. Said, oh, well, they haven't got the manufacturer's thing. I was like, yeah, they have down the bottom. They've got the SAU code on. Yeah. <laughs> I said, they're with a, an official company. I said, they're registered to DBLA. Yeah. And he was and he was like, right, well, if you can prove that. And I said, well, if you've got an email address, I'll send you it. Yeah. And I've not heard anything back. <laughs> sent the paperwork and everything. And yeah. They've let, they, and the second time they pulled me over, um, it must have been on the system because yeah. he started talking about the plates and he looked on the system and they just left me alone. Oh, all right. So and that's when I decided to declare all the mods on it as well. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, you just pretty much stock interior, isn't it? So you've got full leather. It's, yeah, the, I'm not entirely sure if it's stock if it, or if it's out of a VR6. Yeah. But, um, I know some of the GTIs did come with, Yeah. like the top end ones came with full leather. Um, but yeah, it's, it, I was going to get rid of it as well. I was going to get the GTI anniversary. So the the checkered, yeah, the check, yeah. So I really like that. But then as I was like going to take the seats out, I looked underneath and there's a wiring loom underneath. All oh, right. So they're actually heated as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I bought the switch the yeah. loom from someone. It's like forty five, fifty quid. Yeah. So now the, the full heated leather's in the front as well. Yeah. Which just adds it just adds to it. Yeah, that's pretty cool addition in it. Yeah, yeah, I think they, they did do it, but they do it like obviously stupidly expensive to get them with them in. And then the. So you've got so the gear knobs out of a uh, GT anniversary, GT anniversary one, yeah. yeah. Which, like I said, it had, a, it had a BBS sticker on top of that as well. Yeah. I really wanted a GTI one. Yeah. And I was like, I might be able to get a gel badge. Set. And I just peeled that off, and I was like, it's an original GTI one. <laughs> so some guys just, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he was what he was thinking to be honest, but yeah. But yeah, it's a GTI anniversary, one, which is getting quite hard to get hold of now as well. Yeah. I I like. I really like the interiors in the old golfs like it's just really basic but quite, yeah. quite nice <laughs> yeah it is yeah yeah it, it's so comfy as well yeah these seats are really really comfortable yeah cool um should have a quick look under the bonnet yeah. um so yeah it's a eight valve gti isn't it so eight valve gti yeah so 115 brake standard yeah uh whether it is that now or not so are they they're 1.8s as well aren't they no they're two litre Two, oh, two litre. Two litre, yeah. Oh, they right. did do a one a 1.8, but I think they were like 100 brake. Yeah, yeah. The 1.6s were 100 brake, well, 16 miles. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've just, I've, I've spent quite a bit of time under here because it was, I got it and looked under the bay and it was really clean anyway. Yeah. So I thought, well, it'd be, it'd be stupid not to, to give it a good cleaner. Yeah. Um, so I just started with, I started with simple things like painting the block black, yeah. red HT leads, coolant pipes. Any any little bits I could any little bits I could find really. Yeah. They, they do a hose kit for a Samco do one, but it's it's like three hundred fifty. <laughs> yeah. So I just sourced all the little bits myself. Yeah. Uh, the intake pipe that was a that was a find on eBay. He had one left. All oh, right. Uh, that fit the car, and it was twenty five quid. Yeah. And you got the filter, you got all the fittings for it and everything. Oh, that's cool. But the pipe was blue. Yeah. When I got it, yeah. so I I bought some red instead. Yeah. 
Um, the filter though was a bit of a pain because you can't. The way it is, it's flat, flat on the back after uh, the math. Yeah, yeah. So I've got a friend to make me, make me like a, a solid steel yeah, plate yeah. to go on, so I could bolt that to it. So all I had to do was send him the measurements, and he just did all that and just filled the head line around. Um, which yeah, there's the and then there's the old air intake that I used. Yeah, for an air feed, which it fits. Well, it's, it's a clean engine bay for what it is. I've seen some really, really bad ones. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're just horrendous. But it took me ages to get the wax oil off. It was yeah. all around here, like, tons of it. Yeah, I've spent ages trying to get it off, used the steam cleaner and everything, just scraped it all off. Obviously, when they put the car together, they just spray it on it. <laughs> it just goes, goes everywhere, there. yeah. It goes everywhere. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, um, it did have running issues, like, you know, came to you about it. I literally replaced everything, started with the coil pack. Didn't make a difference. HT leads didn't make a difference. New dizzy caps was cracked. New rotor arm, nope. <laughs> and then it turned out it was because got a towed alarm on it. Yeah. And I was messing around with the wires in the back of the fuse box and I moved one, it just started running right off. <laughs> so I, I just took it all out and just managed to get it wedged in properly and get it yeah. running right. So it was a, a bit of an issue. It's caused it's caused a lot of issues that towed alarm. It doesn't it doesn't start off the key properly. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I picked it up, the guy was like, you've got to put the key in and twist it really quick. I was like, that's not normal. It's the same with uh, any 90s alarm, isn't it? It's yeah. like, <laughs> I had the same problem with my Skyline. Started my first day at work. I got to the petrol station, fucking got out, went back to it and it wouldn't fucking start. Yeah. <laughs> well, like... This is what we do. I worked with my friend Sam crew to pick it up. We drove back, go to the unit. Thought, right, I'm going to start doing a few bits on it. Yeah. Tried to start it. No. Like, <laughs> oh my God. And then... It was obviously something to do with the toad alarm. Yeah. So all we did was we just bypassed it. Yeah. Wires through and it's just on it. You turn the ignition on, start it off a button. Yeah. So it, but yeah, I was thinking I've been sold an absolute nail here. Yeah. Not <laughs> like that. It's just really simple. Yeah. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for showing us around. It's all right. And. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I really like it. I, I, I saw the, when I first saw you driving around in it, I was like, I'm gonna have to do a video on that. That's cool <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I love the I love the Vento front end on it. I think it totally makes it. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, thanks for showing us around. It's all right, and, cool. um, yeah, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.